Good morning. Today we've got a bit a slightly different vlog. Um, we're just stopping here at Spice Alley first for lunch and then we're going to have a look at a couple of interesting buildings through the city. So join us for the trip. In the back alley in Chippendale, not far from Central Station, is a hidden gem in Kensington Street called Spice Alley. It has an array of Asian cuisine, including Singapore, Thai, Malaysian, just to name a few. It's a cashless eatery, so make sure you've got your card. It can be very busy being so close to the uni, but we still managed to get a seat without any problems. It can be a lot quieter during the school holidays. All the dishes are reasonably priced from $8 upwards. Go and give it a try. We don't think you will be disappointed. Goods Line is a good example of Sydney's industrial past turned into public space. The Good Line is a disused freight train line turned into 600 metres of leafy walkway with historical bridge fronting the ABC Ultimo Studios and the University of Technology's Crumpled Building, what we will get back in, into in a minute. You can access it via Hay Street or the South Concourse from Central Station. Here we are in one of our, my favourite buildings in Sydney, the Crumple Building in the, or part of the University of Technology Sydney, uh, built in 2014. And yeah, a few more details coming up while you have a look at it, but what a building. The building represents a crumpled paper bag built with 320,000 custom designed bricks. The building is situated on the goods line, so look up Google Earth, either one and you'll find it. If you continue a bit further along, you'll end up at Darling Square, surrounded by Asian restaurants, and little um, alleyways going off in numerous directions. On the edge of Darling Square, you've got the exchange wrapped in 20 kilometres of timber with timbers flowing off like a ribbon. 